welcome back to our channel and this is lesson 2 of the Wiley painting course. If you haven't done lesson 1 yet, you can check out the link in the description box below. I'll be waiting here right for you. In this lesson, we'll be learning the basic plants and trees which we'll be using in our Wiley paintings. For the first plant, we draw a stem in the middle followed by several branches extending from it. To draw the leaves, simply draw a teardrop shaped structure and to attach it to the branch, simply draw a line. Then we shade the leaves with black pens, pencils or color pencils. Now let's move on to the second plant. For the second plant we draw the stem and the same type of branches extending from the middle. Now to draw the leaves, draw drop shaped structures along the bottom side of the branches. Then shade the leaves with black. Now, on the upper side of the branches, draw curved shaped structures. Now, once you reach the other side of the plant, you can also invert the pattern. You can also add a flower on the axle of the plant by drawing a cup shaped structure followed by curved structures on the top. Now for the third plant, draw the stem and for the branches, simply draw a straight line. On the tip of the branch, draw a flower by a cup shaped structure followed by curved lines. For the leaves, simply draw straight lines extending to both the sides. Then darken the branches if needed. Then also add a flower on the axle by drawing a circle followed by lines spread out radially. Now we'll be drawing the maize plant which will be quite useful while doing farming scenes. To draw this plant draw a straight vertical line and for the leaves draw long curved structures. On the axle of the plant to show the maze, draw a large oval structure followed by lines. Then shade the leaves with black. Next, we learn how to draw the potted plant. This plant can be drawn outside the houses to show more decorations and details. To draw the potted plant, simply draw the basic pot structure and decorate it with lines, dots and curved lines. Then draw long curved lines extending from the pot. Then draw basic teardrop shaped structures for the leaves. Then once you complete the leaves, draw a simple flower with a cup shaped structure followed by lines and dots. 
Repeat the same for all the curved structures. Now let's learn how to draw grass. To draw grass, simply draw long curved structures and a straight line extending from the center. On the tip of the straight line, draw a flower with a circle followed by curved lines. Then draw smaller curves only on the dorsal side of the longer ones. And with that, we're done with the plants. Before we move on to the trees, I want you to like the video if you're enjoying it. Also, don't forget to subscribe to my channel and press the bell icon to get the latest updates from me. Alright, now let's start with the trees. First, draw a long elongated triangle to show the trunk of the trees. Then, add smaller triangles on the edges. Then. Draw straight lines facing outwards. For the second tree, we draw the same long triangular trunk. For the branches, draw straight lines with triangles on the edges. Add more triangles to show denser foliage. For the third tree, draw the same long trunk. For branches, draw straight lines. On the edge of the straight line, draw a curved line followed by more smaller straight lines to show the leaves. Repeat the same pattern. Now, this one is not a tree, but this can be very useful to denote bushes. Here, we draw three teardrop shaped structures and fill them with lines. Now, we'll be drawing the taller trees like coconuts and palm. Draw a longer trunk this time. Draw a circle at the tip and draw lines extending from the circle. Then, at the tip of the line, draw a triangle followed by curved structures. Now, let's draw coconut trees. Draw two curved lines which are narrow at the top and wider at the bottom. Then, draw smaller curved lines between them to show the markings on the trunk. Then, draw a small circle on the top and draw long curved lines extending from it. Then, draw shorter straight lines which indicate the leaves. Once we are done with the outlines, color the figures with black pens, pencils, color pencils, markers or any medium that suits you. And with that, we are done for today. Do practice these figures before we move on to lesson 3. Like the video, share it and subscribe to my channel and press the bell icon to get the latest updates from me. Stay tuned and thanks for watching.